Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the horizontal line on your Squarespace website. At the time of recording this, we can use the site styles menu to change the color, but that's about it. So in this tutorial, we'll be using custom CSS to make the line thicker, to give the line a shadow, to create a double line effect, and to create a dotted line effect. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are quite a few parts of this code that you'll want to change to make it uniquely yours. So I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to add this CSS to Squarespace and how to customize it. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the four things we'll be doing in this tutorial. We're going to make these horizontal lines thicker, we'll add a shadow, we'll create a double line, and we'll create a dotted line. All of this is done with custom CSS, so I'm going to navigate to Website, and then select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. Clicking on this first option here, this is how we change the thickness of the line. I'm going to paste this code in my CSS, and instantly these two lines will become a lot thicker. Now you can adjust this value. This is set to 20 pixels in height. I can change this to 10 if I want it to be a little thinner, or even 5. But the standard built into Squarespace is 1. So as long as this number is bigger than 1, you're going to see a big difference in the thickness of those horizontal lines. After that, I have a code for adding a shadow. I'm going to copy this code right here, and we'll go ahead and paste it. And now we can see those horizontal lines have a shadow underneath them. Now this shadow is very customizable. You can adjust the height, the spread, all of these different values until it's the right size for your own website design. You can even adjust the color. Maybe you want it to be a bright red shadow, super customizable. Now let's say you want to combine the two codes, make the line thicker and add a shadow. I'm gonna take this height part of the code, I'll enter a new line and paste it here, and now we have a thicker line with a box shadow behind it. Pretty awesome, right? All right, we've got two more codes to go. The next is to create a double line. We're going to use that same box shadow effect, but we're going to remove any spread, so it's going to look like two separate lines. That's a fun trick that I like to do with custom CSS. Now, last but not least, we have create a dotted line. I'm going to copy this code right here, paste it into my custom CSS, and, and now the lines are five pixels in width, they're dotted, and they're this gray color. Just like we did with the box shadow, we can change the color to something else, and just like we did with height, we can make it a lot thicker. 50px is going to be a very large dotted line. Maybe we'll try 15. You can also change the word dotted to dashed if you prefer that look instead. Super customizable. One last thing I want to teach you before we call this tutorial a wrap is how to isolate an individual line. This code will apply to every single instance of a horizontal line on your entire website. But what if all you want is to change one individual line? For that, you'll need a block ID. There's a free Chrome extension linked in the description below. I just clicked on it and you'll see everything in my Squarespace website has a block ID. I'll click on the block ID for this first line. We'll turn that extension off. And at the very beginning of my code, I'm gonna paste that block ID. And now the only horizontal line that's going to get this customization is this very first one, as noted by its block ID at the beginning of my code. I'll go ahead and remove that and show you doing this for the second line here. We'll click on that Chrome extension again We'll grab the block ID and turn it off. And if I paste this at the very beginning of my code, only that second line will have that change. After you've customized everything you want to, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that I just shared with you and a link to that free Chrome extension that I use to grab the individual block ID. Again, not affiliated, just a fan, but you'll find all that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And if this is your very first time using custom CSS for Squarespace, I have so much more that I can't wait to teach you. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free class on CSS basics specifically for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.